tickets for the entire Australian tour by British band Radio he Radioheads rather, sold out just moments after they went on sale and not long afterwards. Scalpers on the internet were offering tickets at grossly inflated prices. $500 is, some of the, is, is one figure I've heard mentioned. Now, this of course has prompted outrage from the fans who missed out. For more, Tom Tilly from Triple J's Hack Program joins us now from Sydney. Tom, good morning. Good morning, Michael. You might have thought the big news this week was the leadership ballot or Clive Palmer's new football federation, but it was Radiohead's tour. Yeah, well, I've quickly discovered there are quite a few Radiohead fans who work on ABC News Breakfast this week. Firstly, what, what, why are they so popular? I've, I've, I've missed this Radiohead thing. What is it with this band? <laughs> Well, they've been a massive band since the mid-90s, Michael, and they've just put out amazing album after amazing album. And I guess they're one of the bands that really still uh, makes really creative albums as a whole. They're not going for the big pop singles. They take risks, and people really respect that. And they just have this kind of music that really moves people. It's emotional music, it's moody music, and they've just been absolutely prolific. So when they announce a tour in Australia for the first time in eight years, people get really excited and it's been clogging up people's Facebook and Twitter feeds all week. And there's been concern, as, as has been expressed on your program over the week, about this scalping. That's right. The, the pre-sale tickets went on sale on Tuesday morning. They were snapped up straight away. And already that day, people were scalping tickets online for four and five hundred dollars each when the original sale price was hundred and thirty dollars. So pretty quickly people get really angry and that excitement that they had when they found out about the tour quickly turns to rage. So we spoke to the concert promoter Michael Chug about that and it gets him pretty fired up as well. So he's been working with eBay to try and stop them from allowing this on selling, also talking with government to try and introduce policies that stop this from happening. But when it's a, a single event like a, a concert in Melbourne or Brisbane or Sydney, it's very difficult to put measures in place like they have at Splendour in the Grass, a three-day festival where you have to put your name on a ticket and they're completely non-transferable. And we actually spoke to the author of a Commonwealth study into scalping. That came out in 2010 and she basically said, look, the problem here in Australia is not that big compared to the UK, Europe and America and it's actually not economically viable to take the big measures to stop this from happening and I said to her well it's not all about economics in this situation you know fans of bands like Radiohead get emotional about this mm. so you've got to consider that as well. That's right it comes down to an emotional investment more, more than anything else here. That's right, and fans get so angry when they can't get a ticket and, you know, the, the ballot process is, is more or less fair. You know, you have to be online and clicking that button and some people get through and some people don't. There are also the, the phone lines, uh, but when it turns around and they don't get a ticket and they see these other people, it just boils their blood. Have you got tickets? Did you get in? Yes, I did. I've got a ticket. Excellent. I uh, got on there. Uh, actually, my girlfriend got on there and was clicking away and she got a ticket. Oh, well, we look forward to your review uh, whenever the concert is held. I think it's <laughs> later this year. Thanks very much again, Tom. Catch you later, Michael.